Oh, hello. It's me, the Archfiend. Anyway, I put a poll up on my channel the other day. Um, well, actually, two days ago, I put one up asking if you felt iDubbbz was worse than James Rolfe as far as where their careers have gone here on YouTube. And um, hands down, iDubbbz won. And I was curious to see if more people would vote for James Rolfe because I'm the quote-unquote ABGN hater channel or the James Rolfe hater channel, not necessarily ABGN. Um, I was curious to see if people would think James has evolved into a worse content creator now comparative to what he was than what iDubbbz has turned into these days and how iDubbbz's current content and direction and choices in life. Been, anyway, um, and unanimously, iDubbbz won that. So then I was curious. I was like, hmm, iDubbbz won by pretty much a, a vote of 75% to 25%. It might have changed by a point or two if you look back now. Anyways, I was curious to see if my audience would rate iDubbbz that high if I was to rank him against someone like Boogie2988. Uh, I put that up and I was predicting it to be more around like a 60-40 split, but then it was the same result as I, as I got from the James Rolfe question. Only Boogie got 75% and iDubbbz got 25%. Again, that might have changed if you go back and look at this now. But anyways, as of making this video, both had the same results, only iDubbbz went from the 75% to the 25%. And I find that interesting that it is that far off, that it is that hands down, that Boogie2988, and again, I, I, I phrase the question as, who is the worst content creator, the worst of the two content creators, now comparative to what they used to make? And I, I just... I don't know. I kind of, I guess I kind of just am curious as to why people think Boogie is so hands down the worst of the two. Now, I personally think Boogie is the worst of the two, but it, it's, it's honestly more of a coin flip than a, a, a three out of four vote of confidence that you're seeing in the poll results that I put up there. So, I don't know. I just want to have a discussion because I, I am just, again, I am just utterly fascinated with content creators that I used to watch and adore on this website and how their kingdoms are just crashing. You know, part of that is the, the schadenfreude enjoyment of it because I just, I can't believe people squander such a good thing. But these people, for instance, a James Rolfe, a Bookie 2988, and an iDubbbz were people that I watched on the regular. That I unfortunately still watch, not so much Boogie anymore, but I, I, I try to force myself to watch iDubbbz videos, and I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? What happened to this guy? Well, I don't want to bring her into this, but I will at some point in this video. Anyways, um, what I want to say here is uh, I, a lot of people left comments when I, when I left that poll up about, um, uh, about Boogie and iDubbbz, as they did for the James Rolfe. The, the, the James Rolfe comments, like nothing I saw was I was, I was like, like, oh, you're completely you know, misrepresenting things or you're blowing things out of proportion or whatever. But I just feel like when I was reading the comments as far as Boogie ranked against iDubbbz, that... I was like, why are people so unanimously picking Boogie over iDubbbz? And just the the commentary was like, you know, well, he's he's dating a girl half his age. Um, he's he's conning his fans and, and, and doing all sorts of other things. But I'm just like, I don't know. When I look at things, I'm like, honestly, it, if this girl that Boogie's dating, which I, I don't believe is his actual real girlfriend, but mm, I digress if you do believe that. Um, even if that hypothetically is his real girlfriend, Desi, um, who, oh, you know who this is? This is Desi in every single picture. 
Every picture. Like, even when she's not wearing glasses, who am I? I'm Desi. I'm Desi. I don't know, Boogie. I don't know. I'm Desi. Anyways, that's my Desi impersonation. That'll be five bucks. Anyway, um, even if this, this relationship is, like, legit and that's, like, who he's actually dating and she's willingly dating him and whatever, I'm like... <laughs> I think that's a healthier <laughs> relationship than iDubs. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have listened to the iDubs podcast with his wife. Um, I, I personally can't listen to it, but I listen to people that do recap it. I, I'm currently binging the Kino Casino guys, K-I-N-O, not K-E-N-O, like the, the game at the at, 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 um, casinos. <laughs> I was trying to think of the name of the place where you gamble, and I literally just said their name, Kino Casino. I was like, what's that place where you gamble at? Uh, what's that place called? Uh, casino, dumbass. Anyway, um, I can't believe my mind just tripped over that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> these two guys, um, I, I'm just like so fascinated with their content. They are just so vulgar, brash, and to the point, honest. I love it. Like These guys are like, the version of me if I would have started making YouTube videos at their age. Like, that, that that's honestly who I would have been. I don't know if I would have been the fat guy or the skinnier guy, but I don't, you can pick. Anyway, um, these two guys do summaries, and they will watch, like, an Onision podcast. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> boy, if that was an all-time slip. <laughs> oh, boy, let's not bring him into the mix here. Uh, we'll watch an iDubs podcast with his wife and just dissect it. And when I'm listening to the podcast, I'm just like, I is this even iDubs podcast? His wife takes the lead on everything. His wife talks the majority of the time. His wife like starts every conversation. And, and it's just like, my God, honey. I mean, like, okay. I, I'm not trying to be like, oh, what's the matter? Well, women can't have a voice. They can't speak up in this world. Like, no, it has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all to do with that. It's just that Onisi... Oh, I said it again. Jesus. <laughs> iDubs is the one that is hyper popular. iDubs is the one with the fan base. iDubs is the one that the people are paying to see. The people that flock to him in the millions... And was one of the most respected people on this website. Who are you to be in charge of this kingdom, hon? But whatever he kowtows, cucks to her, whatever to her. I, I, I don't know. I think the, the Kino Casino guy's got it right. That man, this girl, she must have like some like blackmail evidence on him or something to say like, bitch, you better not leave this or else I will go public with a lot of shit. I don't know, but man, it is like so depressing seeing Idubs to be this. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I th I think I think I yeah I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. That that that's Idubs in every single one of these podcasts. It is just such a monotone, lifeless, low energy drain of life. Like I feel my soul being sucked out as iDub speaks. There's just like no passion in this project. It like, like he's being forced to do like, like honey, we got to put food on the table, get in the podcast room and let's film something. I'll, t I'll t talk the whole time. Just sit there and agree with me. Like, that's what it seems like. It is just insufferable to watch this guy that was just such a great thing. And no one's saying he had to make keep on doing content cops and keep on doing... Just make stuff that you seem passionate about at least. My God, I, he did more passionate videos unboxing fan stuff that was sent to him. Like, he has just turned into such an emotionless slob. And like someone said, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I forget. It was something like Cornholios was his name. He left a comment saying like, you know, at least Boogie 298 with the, the LOL Cop podcast, the, the LOL Cal podcast, at least he is some form of entertaining. 
He's a train wreck that keeps turning up his anger, whether it's an act or not. It's at least some form of entertaining to watch this guy spaz. What is entertaining at all about... Oh my God, I almost said Onision again. What is so entertaining at all about iDub's podcast? Can you literally sit there and watch iDub's podcast with his succubus wife and have any sort of entertainment value from it? Because I can at least see an LOL cow podcast and be like, <laughs> that's pretty silly watching Boogie get all worked up and get his, get his blood pressure roaring. Oh, that's kind of goofy. Look at him, look at him being a total complete spaz. I don't know. That kind of makes me feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. God, I just like he's like unwatchable. I don't know. I just again. And as far as like who screwed over whose fans the most, oh man, I I I don't think people are giving Creator Clash 2. The amount of damage that it deserves. Like, I, I think a lot of people are just like, yeah, it kind of went and whatever. And, and, and like the Kino Casino guys, like the whole Froggy Fresh thing, it's like uh, they basically had a beef about this guy turning up things and, you know, trying to get some animosity going into a fight. And again, like... <laughs> Anissa and oh my, maybe it's because Anissa and Onision sound so similar. I almost said Anissi, uh, Anissa and Onisi. Anyways, Anissa and Idubs kind of traded Creator Clash too. Like, hey, you know, we're pals. We're gonna be partying afterward. Blah 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 blah. blah. Like, no, no, it's fighting. It's fighting. I want to hear guys that are spitting bars at each other before the bouts and spitting each other's face literally afterwards. I don't hear you guys all got pally. Hey, let's all get a room together and, uh, you know, have a big party and whatnot. And by the way, all this expense we're putting into it is going to make us go a quarter million dollars in debt. Again, going back to like what someone said in the comments of that poll that I had that was cited, like, you know, I think I is worse because, you know, you don't go into something like this unless you can foresee a net profit. You can't guess that it's going to be profitable. That everyone that went to this, that fought for this on the guys that it was going to be a donation to charity afterwards that is going to far surpass Creator Clash 1, even though now we're having a bunch of shovelware. Like, like just keep adding names to it to the point that it ends up being like video game shovelware being added to the the, the walls of the whatever. I don't know. Who the hell says video games anymore? Walmart shelves. Anyways, I didn't want to plug GameStop. They sucked. Anyway, um, that whole Creator Clash 2 thing was such an iconic mess. And another thing that people are selling short on that is the scarring of that, what it did to IDUB's channel could have potentially cost him, you know, a, a, a million future dollars. <laughs> and what he's doing now to his channel where it's like, Boogie had a gradual decline. Idubs had it just, I'm killing this shit. He just took a samurai sword and said, hey, audience, guess what? Cut your heads off. Cut my income off. Like, Boogie was like, you know, he sustained. He had an audience that was kind of wavering, kind of wavering. We're hanging out, we're hanging out, we're hanging out. It took years to get to where Boogie at. It took a not even calendar year for Idubs to become holier than thou, worshiping bow lick his feet do whatever he is just the shoes knit on this website to oh my god he's unwatchable it took less than a calendar year to get to that phase oh god he's just such a oh, he's just such a suck ass to his wife again it's it's not saying that, that you like, oh, I, I hate anyone that kisses their wife's ass or whatever. Like, no, I, I love a lot of things about my wife. I kiss her ass on a number of things. But, man, I ain't going to change my just entire way of livelihood. <laughs> Seemingly because of her. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're in, you in their house. You're just a fly on the wall, blah, blah. You're not a fly on the wall, blah, blah, blah. I get that. But, man, 
if you look at the optics of everything and you form your professional judgment as an internet watcher and all that, yeah, well, yeah. No, I'm so smart, right? Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I just, I just want to hear people tell me, like people that didn't see that poll, tell me, wh why do you think, and again, 75% to 25% is, is that's, tr there should be no argument when you see something, a poll result that ends up being 75 to 25%. But I, I don't know. I just, I, I guess I'd be a little bit more convincing. Now, that truthfully, if I was voting in the poll, I would lean a little bit more towards Boogie, kind of because I feel like I got duped a bit more as a fan personally of his. But man, I just, it's, it's not exactly a slam dunk in my mind. So anyways, you out there, tell me what you think. Explain to me a little bit better, because again, it, it seems the you know, again, compared to what they used to be, Explain to me my boogie is that much worse than Amos uh, said Onision again. Jesus Christ. Never said Onision as many times in my life as I did the past 16 minutes. Anyway, sound off in the comments below. Make me make me a believer that boogie is worse. Or don't. Maybe I flipped you with this video as well. Anyways, take care. Have a great day. That is all. I guess.